Welcome to the Eleanor Sonsini Animal Shelter and this is Paws for Adoption. My name is Katrina White and I'm the Animal Care Coordinator here. We are a no-kill shelter. Uh, back in May we moved to a new location, 875 Crane Ave in Pittsfield. Um, we are still looking for a bigger um, facility so this is just a temporary location. Our hours are Tuesday through Friday 12 to 6 and Saturday and Sunday 12 to 5 closed on Monday. We solely rely on donations and you know whatever people um, can donate uh, as far as food, um, towels, blankets, paper towels. Um, we do have a wish list online. We have a website um, and you can also call the shelter anytime and ask uh, if we if we need anything specific. Um, today we are... Right. I'm Nolan. I'm one of the staff members at Eleanor Sonsini Animal Shelter. This here's Sybil. Come here. Hi, girly. She is a six-month-old Dogo mix. She's a little scared of everything. She's trying to get to her mom right now. Her mom's a big love, too. They both take a little bit to get used to people, but we're seeing a lot of improvement from them. They've only been here about a week, and they're already showering us with loves and kisses, and we get to go out every morning, have some good zoomies, have some fun. So it'll be a little bit of a process, but if you're welcome to come down and say hi and make sure she's comfortable with you and gets used to you, she'd be a good home, dog to have at home. Hi, my name is Simone. Um, I'm an employee at the Sansini Animal Shelter, and this is my friend Bella. She is the mother of the dog that you just saw, Sybil. Um, Sybil is six months, and Bella is a little bit over a year. And uh, the two of them came in together. They were very shy and nervous at first, so <laughs> when they meet new people, it just takes a lot of treats and a little bit of patience and time until they, they can trust a new person. They just haven't been exposed to a lot. Um, we're thinking that Bella will do best as the only animal in a home. Um, she really, really, really likes people, um, and I think she prefers people um, over other animals. So. We're hoping that we can find um, a very specific home for her. She just is a very, very sweet girl. Um, and she is all available and ready for adoption. Um, we are hoping that she can um, go to a home by herself and that her puppy Sybil can find a home of her own. Sybil would do better with another dog in the home. Uh, Bella would do better by herself. And um, if you want to make an appointment at the shelter, just give us a call. 413-448-9800. Um, we are closed down to walk-ins, but we are letting people come to the shelter um, when they make an appointment. So if you are interested in this beautiful, sweet girl, please um, give us a call. So Simone again with uh, both the girls here, and uh, just wanted to talk to you guys about uh, a few things that a few things that are just going on with the shelter right now. So we did recently just close again to the public. Um, if you are interested in an animal or have any questions, please give us a call. Um, we're still letting people meet with animals. We just do it by appointment only. Um, so we really don't have many animals. We don't have any cats currently, um, and just a few dogs that are um, up for adoption. So we've actually found that uh, with the COVID, um, with the virus, a lot of people have been adopting animals. Um, a lot of people are at home uh, looking for companions, um, and it's actually been really, really great for all of our animals, uh, which is why we have such a low population. But we're still slowly, um, you know, helping animals here and there as needed. Uh, we take in surrenders. They have to only be um, in the state of Massachusetts. Uh, but we'll take in any kind of local um, dogs or um, cat surrenders as people need. If 
Um, if you need help with anything, you know, please give us a call if uh, you're unable to care for your animals anymore. Um, we just fill out a little questionnaire over the phone and ask you a few things about your animals. Um, and then uh, we kind of go from there. But we're still here. We're still helping. Um, you know, we are considered a no-kill shelter. So that being said, it means that we are a little bit selective about the animals that we take in. We do need to make sure that they do have the potential um, to get adopted. These two girls, um, yes, they were very fearful and shy um, when they first came to us upon their intake. However, um, you know, we put them through a little evaluation and we did decide that they are definitely uh, able to be worked with. As you can see, they're very comfortable with me now. It just takes a little bit of time. They need to build up their confidence. And, um, you know, we definitely saw potential in these two dogs. And, um, you know, we are here. We love working with animals. Um, yes, we take in animals who need a little bit extra attention, a little bit more training. Um, and, you know, we love to see that transformation. Um, these girls just have not been exposed to anything in the, the short few, you know, months that they've been alive. And uh, we're, we're here to help that and to hopefully um, get them the, the best home, the best situation. Um, if you are interested in either one of these dogs, please give us a call and we'll set up a meet and greet and we'll have you fill out an application. Uh, people do have to be approved. Um, on their application before we would go ahead and talk and about talk about an adoption. Um, we really, you know, screen the people that are looking at our animals because we want to make sure they are going to continue the training. They're going to work with the dogs um, and kind of help them uh, be the best dogs that they can be, and that they're going to provide a very safe, comfortable, uh, really great environment for our animals. Um, so yeah, we're still here. We're still going. We don't have too many animals now, but that's actually pretty much a good thing. Uh, a good thing that a lot of these animals in need are finding their forever homes. Hey, so just um, wanted to talk about a few things um, as the weather gets colder. Um, how we can keep our pets uh, safe and warm and comfortable. Um, for your short-haired dogs, a, a sweater or coat um, it will help when you go out on your walks. Uh, you really want to be careful about your dog's feet. The pads of their feet can get very cold. It's like walking barefoot outdoors. So um, one product that we like to use here is Mushers. It's used for um, dogs that are used in dog sledding. Uh, it's a really great product. It's a wax that you can rub on the paws of your dog. Um, just you know, rub a good uh, layer of that um, on their pads before going outside. And um, that will protect your dog from the cold as well as the ice or any, um, anything else that's dangerous, like salts that people put um, out on the ice. Uh, if you are looking at some kind of salt for your own stairs and walkways, uh, please make sure that it is pet safe. Um, another thing with Thanksgiving coming up, you really want to watch uh, what your dogs are eating. Um, any kind of cooked bone is very, very dangerous for a dog, so um, really make sure that they don't uh, have access or that they don't um, eat any bones, and it's a really, really good idea to bag them all up together um, when you're done with your Thanksgiving dinner and just put those bones out in an outdoor trash where the dogs cannot get to them. Um, there are some safe foods that dogs can eat. Uh, they can have apples, they can have, you know, white meat turkey. Um, uh, potatoes, if you, if you did want to give your dog like a little bit of a snack. Um, just regular uh, pumpkin in the can is actually quite um, healthy for your dog to eat. It does help with digestion, um, but of course in small amounts. Um, so yeah, just a fun thing to kind of to look up um, and see what is uh, healthy and safe for your dog to eat. But um, again, just very small amounts. You don't want to overdo it and upset their stomachs. Um, so yeah, so those are just a few things kind of going into the, the winter season and around the holidays, just keeping your animals safe, uh, happy, healthy, and warm. Um, yeah, so we also just wanted to give a couple of shout outs to some wonderful volunteers uh, who have been raising money for us, as well as coming to take care of the animals, help us clean. Um, and we, even though we are close to public walk-ins currently, we still accept um, any help from our volunteers. Uh, we do, I mean, we couldn't run the shelter without them. 
Um, one of our great young volunteers, Jocelyn Lucier, um, did her own fundraising for us. She sold t-shirts um, for the Sansini sh Shelter. She made her own design and all of the money, um, all of the, the profits that she got from that, she did donate back to the shelter. It was over $1,000, so we thank her very much. Um, Deb's story, she is a relative of one of our former staff members. Um, She's been amazing. She sells uh, these wonderful calendars with beautiful pictures that she um, takes herself. And um, she, last year and this year, she um, used all of that money um, towards uh, items that we need here at the shelter. So it's just been great. Um, if people are uh, looking to donate to us, um, some things that we could always use would be uh, gift cards to places like Petco, Benson, Pet Supplies Plus as well as stores such as Walmart, uh, Home Depot. Um, that way we can just kind of pop out and grab what we need um, if you give us gift cards. Uh, we, there are also a few other items. Um, dog uh, canned food. We'll take any kind of cans um, that we mix in with their dinner. Um, some wonderful things that would help us out for the dogs that we don't always have um, handy are uh, rice. Uh, you know, instant rice that we can make for them um, when if they do ever get upset stomachs. We want to do a bland diet of rice. Um, other things uh, would be pumpkin. Cans of pumpkin um, really help out too. Um, it's just very beneficial health-wise for their digestive system. Um, <laughs> peanut butter, as you can see, they love enjoying uh, frozen peanut butter kongs. Um, any kind of dog treats are wonderful as well. And if you want, um, to help us out with dog food, uh, we feed our dogs Purina Pro Plan, sensitive skin and stomach, just to kind of help their stomachs while they're here. Uh, but if, yeah, if you want a more extensive like list of maybe some items that we need, uh, just give us a phone call and we can tell you what we need that week because it, it kind of changes week to week depending on um, you know what's going on here. And that is pretty much it. But. You know, right now we're not taking any new volunteers, but, um, you know, once things kind of settle down with, with COVID next year, um, we are always looking uh, for dog walker volunteers or just people who want to come and, and help um, socialize the animals when we do have cats to come and hang out, socialize with the cats, help with some cat care, um, as well as uh, cleaning, organizing, anything. We, we welcome any kind of help, but we're going to have to put that on hold until next year. Um, but we just want to um, say, you know, stay safe, stay healthy and happy and happy holidays. And just give us a call if you want to chat or have any questions about anything. And the, yep, the phone number is 413-448-9800. brain and I want to thank you for watching Paws for Adoption. I really hope you enjoyed our show today. More importantly, I hope that you call and adopt one of my furry friends. They all need a loving home and it would make me so happy that they find their forever home. So please call today. One four one three four four eight nine eight zero zero, and I hope you all are staying safe and you all are well. And I hope you call today and adapt one of my friends. This is Bailey Brame, and I look forward to talking to you again sometime.